Welcome back, my friends. Today, we're going to take a look at how to combine a photo with a video. Uh, it's quite an interesting effect, and uh, you might be surprised at um, how you might be able to use this effect either in a reel or uh, other video. So if you're interested, stay tuned, and don't forget to press that like and subscribe button. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose a uh, Instagram post, which is square for my workspace. And I'm going to look for an image. Uh, in this case, I'm going to look for an image of a horse. Okay, and I'm going to use this picture right here. And I'm going to bring in some text. Um, and I'm going to type wild in here and I'm just going to change the font to a something that has more of a script in it like this one and I'm just going to make that um, a little bit bigger and what I want to do is I want to I want to um, just make sure that my photo um, reaches the in uh, the inner parts of my font um, and reaches just the the bottom part of my font and and um, if you want to reposition it a little bit, you can also just reposition it slightly um, and what you what you can do as well is um, you know if you want to center it a little bit you can try and center the image um, although that might be that might be a little difficult depending on the image that you that you choose so um, I think I'm just going to leave the, this image like this for now. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add some elements of um, lines like this. And I am going to just flip that around. like so. Maybe I'll make that a little bit smaller. Now you can add it at the bottom too, like this, or you can add it um, up here if you want. Um, that's totally up to you where you want to um, add it, but obviously um, if you're going to add it up there, then it kind of um, needs to you kind of need to work around where your where you're putting your curves. Okay, so um, all right, so. Uh, I'm going to add one more curve. Right there. Okay, and now What I'm going to do is I'm going to um, download this as uh, an image. So I'm going to come here and I'm going to download this. I'm 
going to create another page here and I'm just going to bring this right. Okay, so here is the image that I just um, downloaded and I'm going to leave it here for a sec. But I want what I want to do is I now want to remove the background from this image and um, I'm just going to go in and um, basically restore. I'm going to make my brush size uh, larger so that it doesn't take me as much time to restore the image. But basically what I'm doing is I'm restoring the image um, on the bottom. Of my photo and um, as you get um, closer to more more of the fine lines you can just make your br brush size smaller and you can just um, zoom in to your photo so that you can just get in and finally restore parts of the image more carefully. going to make my brush size a little smaller. in and erase okay so um, once you're happy with this the next step is to um, position your photo and then find a video. So I'm just going to search for um, a video of running horses. I think that's that's okay right there. And I'm just going to um, drag it down to fill in all my transparent parts. And then I'm going to grab my photo and I'm going to bring it to the front. And um, now when I press play, I've got my photo in the front and my video in the back. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you found it handy, please do give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to be notified when new content comes out. Thank you for joining me, my friends. For now, goodbye.